Hello again and welcome to Kelson Starts, where we go where our minds takes us. And today's topic will be, hmm, you guessed it? If you guessed it right, you get a tart cookie. And what you want to do with that tart cookie, you're going to take it to the closest tart shop near you and get anything in there. What is in there? Don't ask me, I don't know. Ah, uh, bad joke. Anyways, so today's topic is debt. Such a depressing topic, I wanted to start it with a joke. But then again, my jokes are hit on me, so mm, if you get it, yay. If you didn't, <sighs> next time. So, debt. <clears throat> what about debt? Well, the fact that it's inevitable. Can't hide from it, we can't run from it, can't do anything. The only thing we can do is live life until that inevitable day when debt comes to take us. So, you're probably saying, well, we, everybody know that. So, what's the topic? Well, everybody know that, but just like so many other things, we may know it, but we don't put these things into practice. Many of us are alive in the sense that we're walking and breathing, but we're not living. And don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those that believe that if you're not going to party, that means you're not living. No, because me, I realize the parties are not mine. I'm still to do some thought experiment on that. I'm still to do more thought experiment on that to see if it's maybe it's a type of party, people I'm going, I'm still, I'm still checking that one out, right? But nonetheless, so far parties are not mine. I'm the type of person that will stay home, um, find a good manga and read. Right. I will also go up by myself and have a grand time. So, the issue is though, majority of us are living our lives to please others. Let me repeat that. No found not living our lives to please others. Yeah, I'm not hide and say it. No found not live life to please others. I have fallen, fallen into that category quite a few times, but I've been able to catch myself and shake up and nah. Because the mere fact that a lot of times we go places, for example, you have people that purchase a bath suit, go to a pool, take pictures, and don't go into the water, or even spend any time around the water. Don't spend any time in the bath suit. They try to put it on, take pictures, take it off, but just to post. You may say that, well, that's simple. I just want to show off, but who are you showing off to? You get me, I say? Who you show off to? Others. And again, you may say, but I'm just, you know, people want to see how I look good and like my pictures and things, but. The fact that you go to such an extent just to make someone like your pictures and so forth is crazy. But, nonetheless, see your life. When you die, though, right? And you, the funeral person say, and the pastor say what they need to say, and your loved ones say what they need to say, your body is in the, in the coffin, it gets laid to rest six feet under, or you get cremated, whichever way you want to do that. Um, your family and loved ones go home, friends, so forth, strangers sometimes go home to your place or someone else's place, they eat, some laugh, some cry. Maybe they, some may take a week off from work, some have to return to work the following day, go back to work. Your employers are looking at a replacement for you. Your employers are looking at a replacement for you. Your loved ones are slowly moving on as they should, right? But nonetheless, they are moving on. The person that you have given your life for is moving on. Slowly but surely, you become a memory. And then that memory fades into nothingness everything you're fighting for in life now fades it gets given away to other people people that you may not have even liked 
but all these things fade. You take nothing with you but the memories. So when you go out and instead of enjoying the, the moments that you're in, you're taking pictures. The pictures can't come with you. They may be put into some form of album to be of memory of you, but they can't come with you. You don't take them with you. And none of us know what happens in the afterlife. But one thing I can be first, almost certain is that if anything at all, it would be our essence, our memories, our soul. So enrich your soul. Live. When you're with your family, be there. I'm talking to myself as well because I'm, I'm a bit of an isolationist. But nonetheless, live. When you're in a moment, in a situation, take it for what it is. Don't be at home with your family thinking about work. When you're with your family, spend your time with your family. When you're with your friends, spend the time with your friends. I saw a video, rather, my friend sent me a TikTok video the other day, and I don't remember the name of the person. But the essence of the video was basically, you can't wait until you have everything you want to start enjoying your life. Because guess what? some point, you may never get all you want. And if you're, if you're waiting to get all you want to enjoy life, then you may never enjoy life. There's such a thing as delayed gratification where you put off certain things until you complete a goal, achieve a goal, or but that's different. But when you tell yourself, I will not do anything of substance to enjoy myself until I'm rich, for example, then what if you never get rich and you'll never live life, you'll never enjoy yourself? That can't be the case. That can't be the case. And just with life, it's with everything else. Sometimes I can't wait until you have all the pieces in place before you move. For example, this YouTube thing that I'm doing. I did not want to start doing this now because I had a lot of other things I wanted to get in place to make it look a, a lot better. But I don't know when I'll be able to get those stuff. So if I'm to wait until I get those stuff, I may never start. Just with life, you can't wait to start living because death is inevitable. Every single second that passes is a second closer to death. Yes, because immortality is not real. We don't live forever. At least not in the sense that I know of and we know of in the physical sense. You either die by age, sickness, accident, crime or whatever it is. But you will die. We all will die. So every single second wasted, not living, not trying to better yourself, not trying to accomplish anything, fighting over non nonsensical things that you will leave. If you can go without making enemies do that, but at the same time, sometimes we can't avoid that because people will hate us for whatever reason. But you have to live. Because when you die, and you will die, you will be forgotten. And that is a fact. Life is temporary. And death is inevitable. So live while you can. And that's it for the video. Thank you for tuning in again. And have a productive day or night. Well, have a restful night.